Hi, this is Mike. In this demo, I'd like to show you a couple of jobs I've created uh, in Windows using uh, PowerShell, uh, which uses WinRM. So my first one is uh, creating a Active Directory user using sp specific settings. So let's click on that. And I've set this up to uh, be able to type in a first name, last name, choose a department, uh, a username, and then a password. So I'm going to type uh, Ed Eaton and he's in the engineering department and just a username of ed and a password because this is a password field i have it uh, showing just um, dots there and then i can click uh, run job now so this runs on the uh, run deck server that's uh, this server here if i want to see details i could have it uh, show on the screen there but uh, i've created the user and then I'm using a command here to uh, show that user and show that it's created and that it's enabled. So um, that's just a, an extra step. So let's take a look at uh, what that job looks like. I'm going to click uh, run again here, but this time I'm going to go to edit this job and you can see how I created this job. So on the details tab, um, that's just where you give it a name. I'm going to click over to the workflow tab. And so what I've done here is, is created five options. If I look at one of these options by clicking on uh, edit here, I can see uh, the username option is just plain text and so on. And you can tell it's a required field or is it uh, hidden, et cetera. You know, same sort of thing with the department. There are eight values in this list. Uh, this can be pulled from a query or this just can be listed like I did here. And down here at the bottom is the uh, PowerShell script that uses the options from above. So I'm going to click on this. This is considered another step. Uh, here's the script that I use. You can see this is where I'm passing the password from the option above uh, into a PowerShell variable. That's normal. Should look familiar if you're familiar with PowerShell. And then this is the actual PowerShell command, new Active Directory user. And then I feed in all of the options from those previous steps into here. And then I write uh, done, now show the user. I give it a few seconds and then retrieve that user so I can uh, verify that it's created and that it's enabled correctly. So that's what a, uh, a PowerShell job looks like. Let's take a look, not as much detail, but take a look at um, some of the other examples I've done here. Uh, disable user uh, that you pick from a list. So I'm going to click on that. This works similarly. It shows a list of all the users in, in my Active Directory. And I can click on Don Davis here and then run job now. And that'll disable uh, that Active Directory user. And we can click on the example, and it says you chose Don, and it's disabled. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Uh, reboot a server that you pick. So, of course, this is a little bit dangerous. You'd only give it to people that you wanted to have it that could be trusted. But uh, all of this activity would be logged, so you would see you know, who did what and when. So here's the computer name I'm going to reboot. I'm going to actually choose uh, D, and then run job now. And so that will reboot. It uses the force command, so in case anyone's logged on there, it will you know, kick them off. Uh, of course, you could use other options. Again, it's just another PowerShell script. I have it waiting here on purpose to um, do a ping afterwards to make sure that it's actually been rebooted. And if you click on this running while it's running, uh, you can see the detail. There's the request timed out, um, so you know it's been rebooted because it went offline. Let's take a look at the last job here. And then I'm going to restart a service that you pick from a list. This one uh, could operate on one node or it could operate on multiple nodes. Right now, I just have it running on one node. And uh, this is a list of uh, services. I just chose some simple name ones. I'm going to choose uh, Spooler here. That's the Windows Print Spooler. And then click uh, Run Job Now. Uh, I added some extra logic here to wait a few seconds and then get the status on uh, that just to make sure it was restarted. So uh, here's, I chose Spooler, it restarted, and then uh, it shows that it's running again. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.